everybody this is Kim and I'm trying to do this on my phone we'll see if I have enough storage so I made a video earlier today and completely deleted it so I'm trying to make this with my family here and you may hear some noise and we may not even get to upload this but let me just tell you what I've been up to today um, so last night I finished some uh, key fobs and posted them on my Etsy store and when I woke up this morning they were gone so uh, this morning I spent <laughs> which was very very exciting for me and just glad to find things that people like and that they want so I took uh, that and um, I shipped it already and I also uh, Oh, what else did I do? Oh, and I also, um, actually I posted a video already today and I put the pictures to the little lamb-shaped uh, key fobs and the coffee cups um, on that video so you can see what I made over there. Uh, so today my goal was to ship off a bunch of pre-orders finish up the last or at least get started on the last three bags for the big order that I keep talking about and so that's what I did I went to the post office I um, I shipped off I had six open orders I shipped off five of those orders today and I also came I uh, did some errands and uh, came home started some laundry and then which my husband is finishing up right now and then I spent the rest of the the day pretty much just trying to get the last uh, four bags that I have cut um, to the top stitched point so that is done um, tomorrow hopefully uh, we'll make the straps and begin to assemble the bag so I think uh, that I initially had thought that maybe I would get on the embroidery machine tonight but uh, I'm cooking dinner right now and I'm not sure if I'm going to get on the embroidery machine I might just sit on the couch next to my boy and um, while my husband is watching football I might just uh, get some knitting in so um, that is all I have for today uh, or for now and I will be back later. Peace. Hey guys, it's Kim. And I just came outside to just, uh, I don't know, do something a little bit different. I hope you guys can sort of see me. Anyway, I am getting ready to go to church. Uh, I made breakfast, oatmeal. I, let's see, what else did I do today? I also made chili. We're having a potluck after church today. So Chili's in the crock pot and after church we'll come home and grab it and then run over to our friend's house. And that is what's on today. And um, I will work more on bags today. I did some knitting on my sweater for the pigskin party, which I will show you guys later. At any rate, hope you're having a great day. And I will talk to you later. Hey guys, it's Kim, uh, the Crafty Nomad, and today is, I think it's October 9th, yes it is, and uh, sort of, I don't know exactly what time it is, but it is the afternoon, almost evening, I think it's somewhere between 4 and 5 o'clock right now, and I wanted to come on and just uh, give you an update of what I got up to today. So earlier, I uh, took you guys outside for a little short walk. Out and I um, just said good morning and I was dressed for church and on my way to church so we did church had a good service um, good message um, about conspiring to do good uh, which was great and um, as well as a potluck which I just got home from the potluck now you never know how these things are gonna go right uh, you can either have a whole bunch of dessert or you can have <laughs> a whole bunch of one thing and what's really interesting is that um, I am from the Midwest and 
Um, I, I, because of church, I participated in a lot of potlucks back in the day, and I still do. Uh, because of, you know, just we always having something like this at church. And so, um, I always pride myself on making something. Like, I don't go and run to the store and buy chicken or whatever, which, you know, that's fine too. But I always feel like I need to bring something. And it's so funny because somebody brought that up today and uh, said that their mother was like that. Like, she, even she was from the Midwest, but she raised her kids here. And my friend was raised in, in um, Southern California and so she said that her mom was always very much about um, bringing something that she made and would never consider you know stopping at the store or running through a restaurant and bringing something but I'm actually the only one <laughs> Uh, who made something and so it kind of made her point I'm from the Midwest and I almost never bring stuff that um, I bought from the store. I generally have made something homemade. So uh, I think maybe a couple times I've done it and I felt totally guilty about it. But anyway, uh, so today I'll show you guys. Uh, today I have, I did not, I thought that I would get up this morning and get some time on the machine, but I really didn't. I um, did breakfast and pretty much got ready for church and. Um, put up some pre-orders on um, my Etsy shop and one of those already sold which is great and uh, posted some things on Instagram to let everybody know that the pre-orders were up and then I just had to like wash my dishes and uh, get ready for church and so that's what I did and then right and, oh and I made the chili that's what really took the time I wanted to actually put everything together put it in a crock pot so that it could be cooking while we were at church and um, be really um, nice and warm when we came home grabbed it and then went to the potluck location so uh, but in the car on the way to church it's about a 20 minute drive and so I worked on my um, hold on um, my sweater, which, you know, I keep in my bag from uh, the Turbo Knitter. Hey, Ken, thank you. I love this bag. And it's very roomy. And as you guys know, I'm, this, is gonna, this is the Greenfield Cardigan. It's a pay-for pattern from uh, Interweave Crochet. I'm sorry, Interweave, uh, Interweave on the website. But this is a knitted sweater. And uh, I am making it in the uh, Wildwood Yarns Webster, which is 75% acrylic, 25% uh, wool. And this is a 100 gram ball with 300 yards in each ball. And let's see, colorway 10094. Um, but you can see it's an eggplant plummy color. It's coming through pretty good here. I'm using the iPhone, not the not the webcam. So anyway, guys, this is my pigskin party uh, uh, knit along project that I'm hoping that I'm gonna get done by the end of the football season. But and I had started a row. But anyway, this basically is. Um, just the top and now starting to do those raglan increases and um yeah i can't even really show it to you but uh, anyway so this would be this edge would be the collar edge and i've done one buttonhole which is right there and you can see my raglan increases right there and you know it's coming along and I mean this is pretty much the only thing that I worked on this weekend and I'm gonna try to show you uh, knitting wise I may I did some sewing and embroidering and stuff but knitting wise this is what I did but if you can will it turn they just will not turn I want you to see them any of them gonna turn for me I uh, dropped two of them off too, so sorry. Well, this is a little bit disjointed, sorry. But I'm gonna try and see if I can make this thing so you could actually see the football stitch marker. Anyway, I had a big old disaster with this 
Um, these are Chalgu interchangeable needles, I believe, in a size four. And um, I, I have a hard time with these interchangeables. They just unscrew. Now, maybe I haven't locked them like I needed to. I'm going to give that a shot. But literally, completely unscrewed and all the stitches were dropped off. And I had to carefully get them back on. And I'm so not good at that. But it worked out. So that's where I'm at with that. I'm going to put it. So I'm probably, I'll tell you what I'm probably going to do. Is take these and put them on a, a, a circular needle that's not uh, interchangeable. <laughs> A lot of, this is a lot of work and it's hard for me to stay with a sweater and I just do not want to get discouraged by drop stitches so that's really the only crafting that I've done today but I did get some happy stuff to show you so I got it's right behind me um, this came today from Amazon and I was going to show you what it is. This is something to help me. I got my son's scissors. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope these work out. Oh no. Little kid scissors. At any rate, I uh, found that with embroidery, you are constantly winding and bobbing. So I purchased uh, a Simplicity Side Winder. I ordered that from Amazon and I hope it works out well for me. I'm planning to wind up a bunch of bobbins uh, like ahead of time for embroidery. I had another box that I should have brought in here because that was something that I got. Also was some embroidery thread, uh, bobbin thread, which I didn't bring. But anyway, show it another time. So I got that. And then, so yeah, I'm going to end up just winding several bobbins because I found that the one time that I had trouble with um, the embroidery machine was because the bobbin thread was running out and it started to jump around too much. So, I don't want to do that. I just want to have bobbins filled and ready to go. So, that was that. The only other thing I wanted to show you guys is I went to this, you know, uh, how you can go to a Tupperware party. You can go to a Pamper Chef party. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I went to this one called uh, Mary and Martha. And it's basically... Pampered chef with a positive slash Christian uh, slash spiritual bent. So you ha and it's mostly those serverware. Pampered chef has actual things that you can prep food with, but this is mostly just serving things. So like, look at things like this pie plate, which I don't know if you can see that, but it has a saying on it. It says, God gives us richly all things to enjoy, 1 Timothy 6, 17. So, it's stuff like that. A pie plate, um, different things, uh, like you can get aprons and that kind of thing. And one of my friends was having one of these parties, and I went. I had never heard of Mary and Martha, so I went. And what I ended up getting was uh, two sets of of thank you cards uh, because you can always use those I didn't expect them to be this big but I think there are six of these in here in this style and this one says above and be above and beyond generous and kind and this is the thank you card and uh, yeah I think there's like six of each something like that or three of each anyway got those and then the other thing that I got which this is in a box and I'm gonna have to try and unbox it really quickly before this video stops on me I hope it doesn't but I loved this and it's really why I went to a party because I saw this in the catalog and I wanted this so you know how knitters I never drink in my podcast but um, this is based on a scripture in Philippians 4 and it's all about thinking positively um, but there's a scripture that says whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is lovely whatever is pure think on these things it's in Philippians 4 8 and look at that this is the noble mug and it has on the inside think on these things and this one is the true mug 
and it says the same thing think on these things on the inside and I just love them they're heavy I like the shape of them and I actually really love that scripture it just helps me to pull myself back when my brain is going crazy and uh, yeah so that's what I got from there I wanted to share that so I think that's it for today um, I don't think I'll record again today and uh, I'll be back again tomorrow to record on Monday alright guys thanks have a great day October and this is what I'm up to. Um, making some snap tab key rings tonight on their embroidery machine. And then it's about fall. This tomorrow I will show you the results of the tonight. Alright. So hey everybody. Uh, so today is October 11th, 2016. And this is a Blogtober clip of what I've been up to, what I've been making. I've been mostly working on my embroidery machine since yesterday. So here's what I did. Coffee cup. Coffee to go. I did the heart eyes emoji. The cool dude emoji. A couple of more um, little lambs. Game Boy or Xbox or some kind of controller, game controller joystick. Sparkly cupcakes. A little hedgehog. And the apples. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. I've been having a good time. And um, I think I'm a, my son and my husband are currently at a uh, Laker game. We are very excited that the Cubs uh, won their series, so they move on to the next stage. And we're excited about that because though we live in SoCal, we are Chicagoans and will forever be Cubs fans. At least my husband is. I'm not into sports at all, guys. Anyway, there they are, the SnapTab key fobs. I'm excited because I've gotten a another order for these so i'll be making some of these a lot of people want them for um teacher gifts which is exactly what i'm gonna do with them as well for myself uh keep up in a gift card so that's it all right guys thanks for watching talk to you later